Okay, we too, we made it. Let's see, we're uh, gonna keep moving forward with our remote delivery. And I've got the week two module set up for you. And let me go through what you are asked to do for week two. All right, you should be seeing my screen. And uh, here's your week two read me first document. And you're watching this video first too. I'll throw in the time when I'm done with this. Uh, I want you to go ahead and watch some videos that will help you do some, uh, set some things up for your semester project. So in uh, this first presentation, I go through peer reviewed papers, how to find them. Uh, I'm sure that you've done this in uh, something similar to other classes by now. If not, this may, this may help you. Um, if you've done something like this in another class, maybe I'll show you a different way of doing it. So this would be good to watch. Uh, critical re review of literature. I talk about uh, how to read a paper, uh, what to look for, how to be critical, but not being critical. So how do you objectively read a paper and pull out information uh, that will be useful for you um, and, and so I'll go through that. Then uh, I have a little longer presentation on the semester project questions. Uh, it's a little longer because there's a number of questions. So I do a little bit of show and tell with some of the gear I have and talk about uh, the questions sort of from a big picture uh, type of perspective. There's lots of different directions you can go for each, um, for each of those questions. But I, I tried to at least show you that these questions are uh, meaningful for the endurance community. And so what you are producing is something that uh, will hopefully help somebody. Then I go through a presentation, uh, this nuts and bolts, Newton's laws of motion. These laws are easy to remember, just rote memorization, just word for word, you need to know them. And that's not the big issue. The big issue is really learning how to use these three laws uh, together. And they really work together. They don't work in isolation. And uh, it does take some practice. They are deceptively easy. And uh, we, we will do a number of, of um, exercises to make sure that we're really understanding and we know how to use Newton's laws to understand uh, movement. So that presentation is really just a nuts and bolts presentation on Newton's laws. You need to know the nuts and bolts as we go through the class we'll uh, use those uh, in, in, to, together uh, throughout the semester. So now I really uh, jump right into kinetic analysis. So the next two presentations are specific on doing in a kinetic analysis. Remember, if we were in undergrad biomechanics uh, 346, we would do kinematics first and then do kinetics. However, I do opposite in this class and I start with kinetics and then work back uh, to kinematics because a lot of times what we are trying to do is measure the forces and, uh, and analyze, analyze the forces when we're looking at uh, understanding performance. Uh, so I have two presentations. Oh, I've got them a little out of order here. Um, I'll, maybe I'll fix it before I upload this. So then, uh, so I've got two kinetic analysis presentations. This one here is an overview. And then this one is a little bit more specific in into little details. Notice I've got the PDFs here. Make sure you download those before you watch the presentation so you can uh, keep uh, straight with the notes that I have. Uh, I basically upload the notes that I take during uh, putting the lecture together. Okay, and then this, I, I should have moved this to be the last, but then I want you to watch one Las Vegas Triathlon Club member spotlight. I have them all in this document, okay? And the links to each of the, um, Spotlights are uh, in that document. And uh, there's a number to choose from. Hey, maybe you might even know uh, one or two of them and you might have fun uh, listening and watching them. The goal of those, uh, pre those videos, those spotlights was really to get members to know members here in the greater Las Vegas Valley, uh, Tri Club members. And so we really uh, you know, go into why someone got into racing, what it's like to race, and there's different type of, of athletes that we actually spotlight. We have some people who are elite athletes who we talk to. We have some people who are brand new to the sport. So we have that whole spectrum. And then there's even some coaches that we have uh, some spotlights on. 
I just want you to pick one of them. Each of them is about 30 minutes, all right? There may be one or two that's a little longer uh, and a couple that might be a little shorter, but in general, they're about 30 minutes. Just pick one. And the reason why I want you to pick one is I want you to have uh, these people in mind when you're doing your presentation. And uh, because your, your presentation ultimately may show up on the Las Vegas Tri Club Facebook page. And I may say, hey, this is a great piece of information for, um, for you to watch on whatever the question is. All right, and so then there's the other kinetic analysis uh, presentation. Again, that's out of order, but uh, you can get that. All right, so that is the assignment one, and there's an assignment um, up that you just log when you watch these, just keep track. Again, there's no right or wrong. There's a terminology list. I'll bring it up in just a second. Uh, no right or wrong in terms of terminology. And you can leave it blank if you want to. You may, maybe you're creating your own document. But it's good habits uh, to have in terms of uh, creating terminology lists. For uh, two, these should be twos. Um, uh, semester project two. Uh, now what you, I want you to do is dive a little deeper on each of the questions that you think you're interested in at this stage. I want you to find what I'll call anecdotal information. Anecdotal information is more stories, what worked for me, uh, advertisements, um, web page, common, you know, lay literature, you know, triathlete magazine, sport magazine, whatever it is. Uh, find a, a web page or link uh, to an article or title of an article. Again, there's no right or wrong here. I'm not going to uh, go and, and say, no, this was a bad link or the title is not correct. Not that at all. What I want you to do is look for that anecdotal information that would be related to your question or the three questions that you've identified that you're possibly interested in. And what uh, part of this is, is for is to um, start to help you identify which question to pick. Now, sometimes that happens naturally because you start searching for information on one question more so than the other two. And that's good because once you start finding the information, you're like, and it may really uh, you know, pique your interests in one direction or the other. So by week three, uh, we'll pick one question. We, uh, you will pick one question that you are gonna focus in on. So do some due diligence now and look at the anecdotes related to the questions that you have and uh, have the three that you've identified in week one and uh, start seeing if there's you know, a general interest that you have in, in uh, looking towards one or the other. Okay, so that's uh, semester project two. All right, so, and that's this document here, find a webpage link or an article and just put the title of the article in. Again, no right or wrong. Um, uh, this is either you're doing it or you're not doing it. Uh, that, that's uh, what we're working towards here, okay? The assignment, uh, let me just go through that. This is the assignment document, log your dates and then practice, all right? Let's go down to that. What I want you to do is just print this up. And I know it seems simple. And in one sense, it is a little simple. But it's really important that we start um, working on uh, understanding some mechanics. And what I want you to do is identify the forces acting on this object in each of these pictures, okay? What push or pull is happening on the arrow? And use arrows and put the arrow, um, you know, put the, the tip of the arrow on wherever on the object that force is applying and use the direction of the arrow to represent the direction and the length of the arrow to represent the uh, magnitude. Now, obviously we don't know the magnitude, but estimate you know, if one force seems to be bigger than another you know, in your mind. So this is just an object floating still, it's not moving. This is the same object, but now it's moving through the water uh, across the page in that direction. This is a block uh, on, this is ground and it's moving along the ground in this direction. And this is that block moving uphill, okay? So just identify forces acting on the object, okay? To cause the intended motion. And if you, if you want, you can consider this velocity of being constant, uh, that's fine. You do not need to turn this in, okay? I don't, uh, because I, I know some of you will, be, will, will not be 
uh, technically able to do it where you draw on the piece of paper and then you have to scan it and then you have to upload it. No, don't, let's not bother with that. I just need you to try it because I'll go through each of these in, in subsequent lectures. And I just need you to start looking at these and working towards them uh, up front. Because if you look at this and, and take an attempt, then when I go through it, it will make a little bit more sense uh, in terms of uh, which way to, uh, the information that we can pull from doing a kinetic analysis in something as simple as uh, these situations. Because eventually this is gonna be a swimmer, this is gonna be a biker or runner. This could be a biker or a runner as well. Okay. All right, I think that's all I wanna tell you for week two. We're, uh, we're starting off with a, a good, uh, good momentum. Let's keep it up. And then uh, week three, uh, we actually, I think I got week three that we're gonna to try to meet up together and do some uh, sessions. So I will post information on that as well. I can't remember if I did it week three or week four, but uh, hopefully I will be able to meet you on a video. Okay, have a good day.